Brahmagupta born c. 598 CE, died c. 668 CE, was an Indian mathematician and astronomer. He is the author of two early works on mathematics and astronomy, the Brahmasfuta Siddhanta BSS, correctly established doctrine of Brahma, dated 628, a theoretical treatise, and the Kandakajaka, edible bite, dated 665, a more practical text. Brahmagupta was the first to give rules to compute with zero. The texts composed by Brahmagupta were in elliptic verse in Sanskrit, as was common practice in Indian mathematics. As no proofs are given, it is not known how Brahmagupta's results were derived. <laughs> Life and career Brahmagupta was born in 598 CE according to his own statement. He lived in Bilimala modern Binmal during the reign of the Chavda dynasty ruler, Vyagrayamukha. He was the son of Jishnagupta and was a Shaivite by religion. Even though most scholars assume that Brahmagupta was born in Bilimala, there is no conclusive evidence for it. However, he lived and worked there for a good part of his life. Prithadaka Svayman, a later commentator, called him Bilamalacharya, the teacher from Bilamala. Sociologist G. S. Gurye believed that he might have been from the Multan or Abu region. Bilamala, called Pai Lo Mo Lo by Xuanzang, was the apparent capital of the Gurjaradesa, the second largest kingdom of western India, comprising southern Rajasthan and northern Gujarat in modern day India. It was also a center of learning for mathematics and astronomy. Brahmagupta became an astronomer of the Brahmapaksha school, one of the four major schools of Indian astronomy during this period. He studied the five traditional Siddhanthas on Indian astronomy as well as the work of other astronomers including Ayavata I, Latadeva, Pradyumna, Varahamahira, Simha, Srisina, Vijayanandan and Vishnuchandra. In the year 628, at an age of 30, he composed the Brahmasfuta Siddhanta the improved treatise of Brahma which is believed to be a revised version of the received Siddhanta of the Brahmapaksha school. Scholars state that he incorporated a great deal of originality to his revision, adding a considerable amount of new material. The book consists of 24 chapters with 1,008 verses in the Arya Mita. A good deal of it is astronomy, but it also contains key chapters on mathematics, including algebra, geometry, trigonometry and algorithmics, which are believed to contain new insights due to Brahmagupta himself. Later, Brahmagupta moved to Ujjain, which was also a major center for astronomy. At the age of 67, he composed his next well-known work Kanda Kajaka, a practical manual of Indian astronomy in the Karana category meant to be used by students. Brahmagupta lived beyond 665 CE. He is believed to have died in Ujjain. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Controversy. Brahmagupta directed a great deal of criticism towards the work of rival astronomers, and his Brahmasfuta Siddhanta displays one of the earliest schisms among Indian mathematicians. The division was primarily about the application of mathematics to the physical world, rather than about the mathematics itself. In Brahmagupta's case, the disagreements stemmed largely from the choice of astronomical parameters and theories. Critiques of rival theories appear throughout the first ten astronomical chapters and the eleventh chapter is entirely devoted to criticism of these theories, although no criticisms appear in the twelfth and eighteenth chapters. Reception The historian of science George Sarton called him one of the greatest scientists of his race and the greatest of his time. Brahmagupta's mathematical advances were carried on further by Bhaskara II, a lineal descendant in Ujjain, who described Brahmagupta as the Ganaka Chakra Chudamani, the gem of the circle of mathematicians. Prithadaka Svayman wrote commentaries on both of his works, rendering difficult verses into simpler language and adding illustrations. Lala and Bhartopala in the 8th and 9th centuries wrote commentaries on the Kanda Kajaka. Further commentaries continue to be written into the 12th century. A few decades after the death of Brahmagupta, Sindh came under the Arab Caliphate in 712 CE. 
expeditions were sent into Gurjaradesa. The kingdom of Bilimala seems to have been annihilated but Ujjain repulsed the attacks. The court of Caliph al-Mansur received an embassy from Sindh, including an astrologer called Kanaka, who brought possibly memorized astronomical texts, including those of Brahmagupta. Brahmagupta's texts were translated into Arabic by Muhammad al-Fazari, an astronomer in al-Mansur's court under the names Sindhind and Arakand. An immediate outcome was the spread of the decimal number system used in the texts. The mathematician Al-Khwarizmi wrote a text called Al-Jam wal Tafriq by Heisel al-Hind addition and subtraction in Indian arithmetic, which was translated into Latin in the 13th century as Algorithmi de numero indorum. Through these texts, the decimal number system and Brahmagupta's algorithms for arithmetic have spread throughout the world. Al-Khwarizmi also wrote his own version of Sindhind, drawing on Al-Fazari's version and incorporating Ptolemaic elements. Indian astronomic material circulated widely for centuries, even passing into medieval Latin texts. Mathematics <laughs> 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 Topic. Algebra Brahmagupta gave the solution of the general linear equation in Chapter 18 of Brahmasfuta Siddhanta. The difference between rupas, when inverted and divided by the difference of the unknowns, is the unknown in the equation. The rupas are subtracted on the side below that from which the square and the unknown are to be subtracted. Which is a solution for the equation Bx plus C. Topic. dx plus e equivalent to x e minus c, b minus d, where rupas refers to the constants c and e. He further gave two equivalent solutions to the general quadratic equation 18.44. Diminish by the middle number the square root of the rupas multiplied by 4 times the square and increase by the square of the middle number. Divide the remainder by twice the square. The result is the middle number. 18.45, whatever is the square root of the rupas multiplied by the square and increased by the square of half the unknown, diminish that by half the unknown and divide the remainder by its square. The result is the unknown. Which are, respectively, solutions for the equation ax 2 plus bx equals c equivalent to x equals 4 a c plus b 2 minus b 2 a display style x equals frac sqrt 4 a c plus b caret 2 b 2 a and x equals a c plus b Two four minus B two A display style x equals frac sqrt a c plus t f r a c b carrot two four t f r a c b two a. He went on to solve systems of simultaneous indeterminate equations, stating that the desired variable must first be isolated, and then the equation must be divided by the desired variable's coefficient. In particular, he recommended using the pulverizer to solve equations with multiple unknowns. 18.51, subtract the colors different from the first color. The remainder divided by the first color's coefficient is the measure of the first. Terms 2 by 2 are considered when reduced to similar divisors, and so on repeatedly. If there are many colors, the pulverizer is to be used. Like the algebra of Diophantus, the algebra of Brahmagupta was syncopated. Addition was indicated by placing the numbers side by side, subtraction by placing a dot over the subtrahend, and division by placing the divisor below the dividend, similar to our notation but without the bar. Multiplication, evolution, and unknown quantities were represented by abbreviations of appropriate terms. 
The extent of Greek influence on this syncopation, if any, is not known and it is possible that both Greek and Indian syncopation may be derived from a common Babylonian source. Topic. Arithmetic The four fundamental operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division were known to many cultures before Brahmagupta. This current system is based on the Hindu-Arabic number system and first appeared in Brahmasfuta Siddhanta. Brahmagupta describes the multiplication as thus. The multiplicand is repeated like a string for cattle, as often as there are integrant portions in the multiplier and is repeatedly multiplied by them and the products are added together. It is multiplication. Or the multiplicand is repeated as many times as there are component parts in the multiplier. Indian arithmetic was known in medieval Europe as modus indorum, meaning method of the Indians. In Brahmasfuta Siddhanta, multiplication was named Gamutrika. In the beginning of Chapter 12 of his Brahmasfuta Siddhanta, entitled Calculation, Brahmagupta details operations on fractions. The reader is expected to know the basic arithmetic operations as far as taking the square root, although he explains how to find the cube and cube root of an integer and later gives rules facilitating the computation of squares and square roots. He then gives rules for dealing with five types of combinations of fractions, a, c plus b, c, a, c times b, d, a, 1 plus b, d, a, c plus b, d times a, c. Topic A D plus B per candela and A C minus B D times A C A D minus B per candela. Topic Series. Brahmagupta then goes on to give the sum of the squares and cubes of the first n integers. 12.20. The sum of the squares is that sum multiplied by twice the number of step s increased by 1 and divided by 3. The sum of the cubes is the square of that sum piles of these with identical balls can also be computed. Here Brahmagupta found the result in terms of the sum of the first n integers, rather than in terms of n as is the modern practice, he gives the sum of the squares of the first n natural numbers as n n plus 1 2n plus 1, 6 and the sum of the cubes of the first n natural numbers as n n plus 1, 2, 2. Topic. Zero. Brahmagupta's Brahmasfuta Siddhanta is the first book that provides rules for arithmetic manipulations that apply to zero and to negative numbers. The Brahmasfuta Siddhanta is the earliest known text to treat zero as a number in its own right, rather than as simply a placeholder digit in representing another number as was done by the Babylonians or as a symbol for a lack of quantity as was done by Ptolemy and the Romans. In Chapter 18 of his Brahmasfuta Siddhanta, Brahmagupta describes operations on negative numbers. He first describes addition and subtraction. 18.30. The sum of two positives is positives, of two negatives negative, of a positive and a negative the sum is their difference, if they are equal it is zero. The sum of a negative and zero is negative, that of a positive and zero positive, and that of two zeros zero. 18.32. A negative minus zero is negative, a positive minus zero positive, zero minus zero is zero. When a positive is to be subtracted from a negative or a negative from a positive, then it is to be added. He goes on to describe multiplication. 18.33. The product of a negative and a positive is negative, of two negatives positive, and of positives positive, the product of zero and a negative, of zero and a positive, or of two zeros is zero. But his description of division by zero differs from our modern understanding. 18.34. A positive divided by a positive or a negative divided by a negative is positive, a zero divided by a zero is zero. A positive divided by a negative is negative, a negative divided by a positive is also negative. 18.35.
A negative or a positive divided by zero has that zero as its divisor, or zero divided by a negative or a positive has that negative or positive as its divisor. The square of a negative or of a positive is positive, the square of zero is zero. That of which the square is the square is its square root. Here Brahmagupta states that zero over zero equals zero and as for the question of a, zero where a does not equal zero he did not commit himself. His rules for arithmetic on negative numbers and zero are quite close to the modern understanding, except that in modern mathematics division by zero is left undefined. Equals Topic. Diophantine analysis equals topic Pythagorean triplets In chapter 12 of his Brahmasutta Siddhanta Brahmagupta provides a formula useful for generating Pythagorean triples 12.39 The height of a mountain multiplied by a given multiplier is the distance to a city it is not erased when it is divided by the multiplier increased by two it is the leap of one of the two who make the same journey. Or, in other words, if d equals mx, x plus two, then a traveler who leaps vertically upwards a distance d from the top of a mountain of height m, and then travels in a straight line to a city at a horizontal distance mx from the base of the mountain, travels the same distance as one who descends vertically down the mountain and then travels along the horizontal to the city. Stated geometrically, this says that if a right-angled triangle has a base of length a equals mx and altitude of length b. Topic m plus d, then the length, c, of its hypotenuse is given by c. m 1 plus x minus d. And, indeed, elementary algebraic manipulation shows that a 2 plus b 2 equals c 2 whenever d has the value stated. Also, if m and x are rational, so a d, a, b and c. A Pythagorean triple can therefore be obtained from a, b and c by multiplying each of them by the least common multiple of their denominators. Equals Topic Pell's equation Topic Brahmagupta went on to give a recurrence relation for generating solutions to certain instances of Diophantine equations of the second degree such as nx2 plus 1 y2 called Pell's equation by using the Euclidean algorithm. The Euclidean algorithm was known to him as the pulverizer since it breaks numbers down into ever smaller pieces. The nature of squares, 18.64. Put down, twice the square root of a given square by a multiplier and increased or diminished by an arbitrary number. The product of the first pair, multiplied by the multiplier, with the product of the last pair, is the last computed 0.18.65. The sum of the thunderbolt products is the first. The additive is equal to the product of the additives. The two square roots, divided by the additive or the subtractive, are the additive rupas. The key to his solution was the identity x 1 2 minus n y 1 2 x 2 2 minus n y 2 2 equals x 1 x 2 plus n y 1 y 2 2 minus n x 1 y 2 plus x 2 y 1 2 
Display style x underscore one carrot two and y underscore one carrot two x underscore two carrot two and y underscore two carrot two equals x underscore one x underscore two plus knee underscore one y underscore two carrot two n x underscore one y underscore two plus x underscore two y underscore one carrot two which is a generalization of an identity that was discovered by Diophantus x 1 2 minus y 1 2 x 2 2 minus y 2 2 equals x 1 x 2 plus y 1 y 2 2 minus x 1 y 2 plus x 2 y 1 2 Display style x underscore one carrot two y underscore one carrot two x underscore two carrot two y underscore two carrot two equals x underscore one x underscore two plus y underscore one y underscore two carrot two x underscore one y underscore two plus x underscore two y underscore one carrot two Using his identity and the fact that if x1, y1, and x2, y2 are solutions to the equations x2 minus n y2. Topic k1 and x2 minus n y2. K2, respectively, then x1 x2 plus n y1 y2, x1 y2 plus x2 y1 is a solution to x2 minus n y2. Topic K1 K2, he was able to find integral solutions to Pell's equation through a series of equations of the form x2 minus n y2. Key. Brahmagupta was not able to apply his solution uniformly for all possible values of n, rather he was only able to show that if x2 minus n y2 topic k has an integer solution for k plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, or plus or minus 4, then x2 minus n y2 equals 1 has a solution. The solution of the general Pell's equation would have to wait for Bhaskara 2 in C, 1150 CE. Geometry Brahmagupta's formula Brahmagupta's most famous result in geometry is his formula for cyclic quadrilaterals. Given the lengths of the sides of any cyclic quadrilateral, Brahmagupta gave an approximate and an exact formula for the figure's area 12.21. The approximate area is the product of the halves of the sums of the sides and opposite sides of a triangle and a quadrilateral. The accurate area is the square root from the product of the halves of the sums of the sides diminished by each side of the quadrilateral. So given the lengths p, q, r and s of a cyclic quadrilateral, the approximate area is p plus r, 2 q plus s, 2 while, letting t equals p plus q plus r plus s, 2, the exact area is Square root t minus p t minus q t minus r t minus s. Although Brahmagupta does not explicitly state that these quadrilaterals are cyclic, it is apparent from his rules that this is the case. Heron's formula is a special case of this formula, and it can be derived by setting one of the sides equal to zero. Topic: Triangles. 
Brahmagupta dedicated a substantial portion of his work to geometry. One theorem gives the lengths of the two segments a triangle's base is divided into by its altitude 12.22. The base decreased and increased by the difference between the squares of the sides divided by the base, when divided by two they are the true segments. The perpendicular altitude is the square root from the square of a side diminished by the square of its segment. Thus the lengths of the two segments are one half b plus or minus c2 minus a2 b. He further gives a theorem on rational triangles. A triangle with rational sides a, b, c and rational area is of the form a equals 1 2 u 2 v plus v b equals 1 2 u 2 w plus w c equals 1 2 u 2 v minus V plus U two W minus W Display style equals frac one two left frac U carrot two V plus V right B equals frac one two left frac U carrot two W plus W right C equals frac one two left frac U carrot two V V plus frac U carrot two W W right For some rational numbers U V and W Topic. Brahmagupta's theorem Brahmagupta continues 12.23. The square root of the sum of the two products of the sides and opposite sides of a non-unequal quadrilateral is the diagonal. The square of the diagonal is diminished by the square of half the sum of the base and the top, the square root is the perpendicular altitudes. So, in a non-unequal Cyclic quadrilateral that is, an isosceles trapezoid, the length of each diagonal is square root PR plus QS. He continues to give formulas for the lengths and areas of geometric figures, such as the circumradius of an isosceles trapezoid and a scalene quadrilateral, and the lengths of diagonals in a scalene cyclic quadrilateral. This leads up to Brahmagupta's famous theorem 12.30-31. Imaging two triangles within a cyclic quadrilateral with unequal sides, the two diagonals are the two bases. Their two segments are separately the upper and lower segments formed at the intersection of the diagonals. The two lower segments of the two diagonals are two sides in a triangle, the base of the quadrilateral is the base of the triangle. Its perpendicular is the lower portion of the central perpendicular, the upper portion of the central perpendicular is half of the sum of the sides perpendiculars diminished by the lower portion of the central perpendicular. Topic <laughs> pi. In verse 40, he gives values of pi 12.40. The diameter and the square of the radius each multiplied by 3 are respectively the practical circumference and the area of a circle. The accurate values are the square roots from the squares of those two multiplied by 10. So Brahmagupta uses 3 as a practical value of pi and 10 approximately equals 3.1622 Display style sqrt 10 approximately 3.1622 l dots as an accurate value of pi. The error in this accurate value is less than 1%. <laughs> Topic: Measurements and constructions. In some of the verses before verse 40, Brahmagupta gives constructions of various figures with arbitrary sides. 
He essentially manipulated right triangles to produce isosceles triangles, scalene triangles, rectangles, isosceles trapezoids, isosceles trapezoids with three equal sides, and a scalene cyclic quadrilateral. After giving the value of pi, he deals with the geometry of plane figures and solids, such as finding volumes and surface areas or empty spaces dug out of solids. He finds the volume of rectangular prisms, pyramids, and the frustum of a square pyramid. He further finds the average depth of a series of pits. For the volume of a frustum of a pyramid, he gives the pragmatic value as the depth times the square of the mean of the edges of the top and bottom faces, and he gives the superficial volume as the depth times their mean area. Topic. Trigonometry Topic. Sign table In Chapter 2 of his Brahmasfuta Siddhanta, entitled Planetary True Longitudes, Brahmagupta presents a sign table 2.2-5. The signs, the progenitors, twins, Ursa Major, twins, the Vedas, the gods, fires, six, flavors, dice, the gods, the moon, five, the sky, the moon, the moon, arrows, suns. Here Brahmagupta uses names of objects to represent the digits of place-value numerals, as was common with numerical data in Sanskrit treatises. Progenitors represents the 14 progenitors, Manu, in Indian cosmology or 14, twins, means to, Ursa Major, represents the seven stars of Ursa Major or seven, Vedas. Refers to the four Vedas or four, dice represents the number of sides of the tradition die or six, and so on. This information can be translated into the list of signs, 214, 427, 638, 846, 1051, 1251, 1446, 1635, 1817, 1991, 2156, 2312, 1459, 2594, 2719, 2832, 2933, 3021, 3096, 3159, 3207, 3242, 3263, and 3270, with the radius being 3270. Topic: Interpolation formula. In 665 Brahmagupta devised and used a special case of the Newton-Stirling interpolation formula of the second order to interpolate new values of the sine function from other values already tabulated. The formula gives an estimate for the value of a function f at a value a plus xh of its argument with h greater than 0 and minus 1 x1 when its value is already known at a minus h, a and a plus h. The formula for the estimate is F A plus X H approximately equals F A plus X delta F A plus delta F A minus H two plus x 2 delta 2 f a minus h 2 Display style f a plus x h approximately f a plus x left frac delta f a plus delta f a h two right plus frac x carrot two delta carrot two f a h two where delta is the first order forward difference operator, i.e., delta f a equals d e f f a plus h minus f a 
Display style delta F A stackral mathram def equals F A plus H F A. Topic Astronomy Some of the important contributions made by Brahmagupta in astronomy are his methods for calculating the position of heavenly bodies over time ephemerides, their rising and setting conjunctions, and the calculation of solar and lunar eclipses. In Chapter 7 of his Brahmasphutasiddhanta, entitled Lunar Crescent, Brahmagupta rebuts the idea that the moon is farther from the earth than the sun, an idea which had been suggested by Vedic scripture. He does this by explaining the illumination of the moon by the sun. 1. If the moon were above the sun, how would the power of waxing and waning, etc., be produced from calculation of the longitude of the moon? The near half would always be bright point 2. In the same way that the half seen by the sun of a pot standing in sunlight is bright, and the unseen half dark, so is the illumination of the moon if it is beneath the sun. 3. The brightness is increased in the direction of the sun. At the end of a bright half-month, the near half is bright and the far half dark. Hence, the elevation of the horns of the crescent can be derived from calculation. He explains that since the moon is closer to the earth than the sun, the degree of the illuminated part of the moon depends on the relative positions of the sun and the moon, and this can be computed from the size of the angle between the two bodies. Further work exploring the longitudes of the planets, diurnal rotation, lunar and solar eclipses, risings and settings, the moon's crescent and conjunctions of the planets, are discussed in his treatise Kandakajaka. Topic. See also Brahmagupta Fibonacci identity Brahmagupta's formula Brahmagupta theorem Chakravala method List of Indian mathematicians Citations and footnotes <laughs>